Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Tanks. We're here in my T-54 on Popovka. Together in a platoon with uh, Hawkeye in his Object 704. I'm uh, going here straight to the middle. It seems to have a minimap bug at the moment. I didn't notice that before. I don't have the in-game apparently. There's an, a few circles missing on the uh, minimap. It looks like it. One or two. But I'm going straight towards the middle. Uh, finding out a bet yet. I'm not poking up too far. I was here busy with a mi mission. Uh, destroy a track of an enemy visual and cause damage to the immobilized visual. And the secondary was destroying an immobilized enemy visual. That were my missions for this one. And yeah, that one bounced on M13. I did definitely succeed at that mission. M13 is pretty aggressive going straight in that ditch down there. But this is of course a pretty good spot now for him sitting there. Badget is taking a shot at me. We're thinking of going together, but I don't know if this Lorraine is loaded. And that one just missed me. So, sitting here together, this Lorraine is moving backwards. Uh, that's why I may be thinking, oh, he's, he's reloading or something. So, I just decided to pick up, see, I get a shot on I7, I don't. That's the M103 again. He's pushing up pretty First far. Blood. Someone managed to uh, put a shot into him. I think that's the, the, the waffle that managed to get a shot in. There's a Jack Tiger in the rear. Lorraine is coming up. He's moving up, so move to get it with the Lorraine up. I'm aiming for the tracks. I tracked him. He's repairing his tracks straight away again. Time to track him again, no damage done. That was my plan. And all of it takes him out. Great match, great success here. Take out him, didn't take any damage. That Jack Tiger got spotted again and got a hell of a lot of damage on him suddenly. Spotted the bad yet. He fires one, he straight away starts moving across. He thinks, uh, I'm spotted, I'm gonna win. So, waiting for more opportunities to shoot. Small Tiger 2 there, all the tracks in the rear. T23 prototype spotted. Badjet is. Uh, I thought he was trying to move up. He gets another hit from the things behind me. Okay, I'm poking this ridge, I keep poking this ridge. Finding anything to shoot. The gun depression, of course, not the best one. Uh, it looks like my reload uh, timer is also bugged out. It says I'm not reloaded, but I am definitely loaded. <laughs> Alright, now, now it's fixed. It sells a bit. There seem to be a lot of bugs with the replays lately. Uh, camera bugs, some uh, bugs with. Uh, with Jimbo's uh, mod seems to be a little bit buggy now and then, also on uh, so in game now and then. Find the T28, getting tracked by the Tiger 2, I right? decide so straight away use some packet and move away. Because the Tiger 2 has a pretty decent reload speed, about 8 seconds, I think, just over 8 seconds. T69 coming in, tracks him, got back up from the river behind me, he's trying to get around me, gets one shot into me but now I'm close to him and yeah this gun is not gonna pen. He used his shots, I'm taking him out. There were three bounces and one damaging shot on me. There's a hell of a fight happening over there. Got two enemy tanks taken out there, now three even, and we only lost one. 
so we can't complain about that fight there. Yeah. And you know, I got some nice cinematic views in now and then like this. I got spotted. But T28 is spotted and there's my the two mates doing a very good shot landing on him. Find the poke out again, trying to spot again. Fortunately not because there were bushes in the way. Oh, he maybe even moved. It looks like he even changed position. Teammate, the two mates very low on health. Only 89 hit points left. I think about moving up, but also knowing that still that Tiger 2 is there in the way on the tracks. Spotting an IS3. That's the Tiger 2. Even in a stock turret. Yeah, Tiger got taken out by the platoon mate. Tiger 2 is dropping down now suddenly. But give me the chance to move up over this ridge. Uh, takes a hit from the T28. Missed that shot and he's getting taken out by the waffle. I oh, know there's the Tiger on which time I'm thinking of taking down. There he is, and uh, the replay bug. Missed that shot. Get hit in the rear. I think, what the hell is this? I have still the medium out of loader there. Second shot takes up my track. Fourth shot goes in. And that's another shot of him. And there's also an IS3 there, so I'm not moving up. It's too dangerous. He got hit badly. I just need one shot to take him out. Yeah, have an ice. Mm, never mind. There's no ice three left there. <laughs> and the tiger two is also being taken out. Time to move up. There's an ice eight. It's heading for our base. I not have done a huge amount of damage. Eight hundred fifty four damage. It's pretty low for a T fifty four and a tier nine match. Tier ten match even. Definitely you can do can do a lot better. So I know there's one more I7 somewhere. I know he's probably still camping on the hill. Or I'm at all just gonna take him out by the I7. It looks like he's definitely still left on the hill. So moving up. Thinking about moving, but also keeping in mind that I7 is probably on the hill there, so I'm not moving up. I decided just not to do it. Too much risk. I am on one shot for him. And I7 got spotted down below here, so he came back. He didn't went for the cap. And the I7 is here. And yeah, I7 turns. Pretty well angled the sides here. And with this gun is just not able to shoot it. It's a 200, 201 pen, that's not gonna pen. Bounced I7, I7 bounced. And there was a gold shot of the I7 that I made and bounced on my frontal plate, and that was the match. Not a lot of damage done, but let's look at some game stats of this match. Alright, there are some game stats of this match. As I said, damage wise is low, below average 729 rating, 8 rating for this match. That was not a hell of a lot. I did manage to get a steel wall out of it. And about 1828 experience. Well, why so much? Well, all this spotting. <laughs> Look at this. This whole list of spotting. So, team wise, I, yeah, I'm not the best one. Still managed to get about 1219 base experience with only 854 damage done. So what I've done, I've fired 16 shots, 12 direct hits, 4 penetrations only. So that was only 854 damage, but damage received was almost 1300, damage blocked by armor, 6, almost 1700. So 
That's a total of one, almost 3,000 potential damage. Damage upon, upon detecting detecting enemies visuals 5,774, and by tracking 1,424. That's over 6,000 spotting in total. That's a hell of a lot. It's definitely made made up my game a lot more than all this damage, but damn. You still don't have this in a scout, but this is also something mediums can do. Spot enemy visuals for your team so they can take them out. Because this even a cut spawn is T69 for 909, this IS7, 131 only. Tiger 2, 1108, Jack Tiger 207, Batchet 181, and Model 3, 724, the other IS797. T28 prototype full health, IS8 724, it's T54 E1 1663, and another bad yet, another 204. That was a hell of a fun, and I did get my mission done. I have one more, <coughs> one more replay for you guys, and uh, let's get that one up. So, here we are on my second replay this week. I see 25 minutes again in a platoon with Hawkeye. 66% chances to win. And also here we are on a mission. I need to destroy an enemy visual having received no quite damage to my visual. And for the bonus, win the battle. Uh, it's gonna be a very interesting match. It's definitely gonna be. So we're going up uh, on the hill as usual. Uh, we took the E25s out because they have such a good camera, it's such a small tank, good rate of fire, and such a good camera because it is so small. That's the reason we took them out and thought we had the best chance to uh, kill someone without getting any damage and survive. Survive the match even. Aiming at third person was the most ball in a way. Unfortunately, it missed. And T26, so if I can, this wall, I just shoot the wall away. Taking a blind shot. And apparently it bounced. <laughs> so, waiting for Tarzan. There's, there's not really a lot on this side. There's an RAL here, and there's an AMX still sitting close at the spawn and the Super Persian. The rest looks like went all the other way where we only have a third, but we only have the 12T and the Panda 88. First blood. Fight blind, it was it was just out of my view range, so I was guessing it should be there where the other shields landed. Now our northern flank has completely collapsed already. Was no one really the only two tanks of us went there and there like there's six seven enemy tanks there. They can just not hold it off. Unless they're very lucky they maybe if they play smart you can hold them off really but unfortunately they did not. There's something dropped over there looks like it. I'm shooting at something there, yeah, it was where Artie was. Oh, yes, I don't know. Mr. Bulldog. I see, I seen him open, not in the bush, and the Bulldog did not even spot at me. And, yeah, this, this is. Beaver friends are oh, always bouncing. Super Persian still behind a rock. Bulldog showed up again. Poor shot of me. Hit his tracks. I was just not too lucky in this match of getting damage out. Quite a lot of shots and zero damage done. That's bad. Really, really bad. See now 5100 already on the side of us. Artie is trying to get away. But the first Artie of us just died. Uh, actually not a 5100, but he's behind the hill. 
Zoek Persian is spotted again in the open. I managed to get myself stuck for a moment. Moving backwards, trying to get the shot is the Super Persian. Waking the wall in front of me and not wasting any time to start shooting him. He is tracked. Hit the strike, that bounced, bounced again. And now he's tracked, switching to APCR. And. There he goes. And uh, pushed one button there. But did not get spotted. KV85. Okay, it's the, on the best position. I'm just not taking a risk. And I'm going outside the map for a moment. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really uh, glitches, bugs, man. Really. <laughs> Fix it, War Gaming. Please, fix it. I don't know about 300 damage, but well, there's two me three, me, three blind shots that went in, in the Super Persian. Uh, the rest is, yeah, it's looking bad, yeah. So no shots, I don't have a shot, so. The two mates are sitting in a little bit better spot. I haven't taken any hits yet, so I'm still in for the mission. Repositioning. Send one out. Uh, oh, that was a shot. Never mind. <laughs> And yeah, LTTB just takes him out, so no shots for me, there's uh, Amex down below, just just don't have to gun the pressure for it, and oh shit, I got hit by the 15, 50, 100, twice, so bye bye mission for me at least, I know he fights twice, We were trying to hold the hill, but with 5100, yeah, it's not gonna be easy. We know there's a second one behind it, so it's just no way to push him together to try to kill him. Was I'm sure they're working together. I don't know even are they in a platoon. They are in a platoon, so it's the only platoon platoon that's left. It's not the best platoon, but. That's the first 5100. Third person shots. And uh, now there's the building in wait, there's the problem on this thing here. On the hill there's so many buildings you need to go around and avoid. And wow. This this tank is so small. That even that of a rock is is too high. The lowest part of the rock is too high to shoot over. And no, there's no chance to shoot him. Moving back. Trying to find him. That 5100 is aiming my way. He knows I'm here. But also in the meantime he's getting shot. Quickly pulling a shot out of on, on him. Maybe could have taken a second shot and oh! T34. Full health T34 here. Up on the hill. That's gonna be a little bit more of a problem. I'm basically one shot for the T34 and oops, uh, that was not planned. So I now need to get back up on the hill. Take a half a building out all the way. Oh. 
Fifteen one hundred. Double kill. Oh, he did not make it. Make it. He's down. Two of the platoon left. One on very low health, and one on full health. Yeah, I hope in his T thirty four did not have a shot on me, but he does. So that was the end of my match, unfortunately. So now we have an LTTB left. And my platoon mate in the E25 with 3 health and 27 health. So let's switch to his point of view. So we can enjoy so to see the fight. <coughs> his Here we are on <coughs> Hawkeye's view. Just before, uh, just a point before I died. Then I died. So his point of view. <coughs> There's T34, full health left and a very low health. 15100. The amount of shells he has left, only 15 shells left. There's not a lot of shells left. Definitely not. So, <coughs> you need to be shooting very well. Hit every shot is gonna count. And that was a very nice shot on the 5100. Very, very little view on the top of his turret and such a quick aim to take him out and those replay bugs really so T34 left uh, side of the turret 14 bounced that one went in so T34 has taken out a little bit of damage both of these tanks that are left I have one shot Five easily for the T-34. LTB takes a shot into him. I was helping him out here to say where you need to aim. Uh, that one for did not go in. He aimed for the side of the turret, but T-34 just turned his turret. So he missed that. It or missed it, it bounced. That's one in. That's another one in. That one bounced. And that's even bounce on the side of the turret. And really disappointed. All these shots are bouncing. There's three shells left. That's one hit. That's another hit. And oh, let's get a high roll. Let's get a high roll. And oh, 139. And he has 10 health less. Okay. In the 25 has 3 health left. And out of ammo. Now what? Well, yeah, it's not direct here. And <laughs> yeah. <coughs> It looks like his, his turret ring is damaged and uh, he managed to get by him and he's running. This would be the point normally you can take him out but... So now he's running down, running away from T-34 into the cap. And there's a very nice pair of rocks here. T-34 is coming down Three the hill. Minutes left. And... Yeah. <laughs> now what? Ah, come on. Come on T-34. Basically this is just gonna be a dance around these rocks. The T-34 is never gonna catch up with an E-25. E-25 is way too fast for it. F way much maneuverable. The only smart thing he could do in this case was just move far enough backwards to get out of proximity and get undetected. That was the best, basically the best thing what he could do. Because <coughs> he's he just never can catch an E25 around the rocks. Never ever. Uh, he's move he's doing the right thing here now. He's moving backwards. 
is out of the proximity. Get on spot, but moves just straight in and gets spotted again. One move. That is. Yeah. It's the dance of the T34 and an E25 around the rock. See, he's, he's even trolling a little bit with the T34, shaking his tank. <laughs> and then he's just trying to catch him up again, and nope. Chad told him, let's, let's go for a ram, but... <coughs> yeah, but, but you're gonna get out of it. T34 is a lot heavier than an E25. And here is T34 going up a hill. One minute remains. Got one minute left, and... He's trying to get some speed, but that's not gonna work, mate. See? And he just suddenly stops. But he had... Milhoka had a very, very good match here. He had like a rain 8 rating of 5,738. 30 seconds left. Very good match of him, and... Yeah, that was just basically the only thing he could do. Well, he could also try to run away and let the T-34 cap, but that was not what he wanted to do. I, I told him to try to get a draw out of this. That's, that's basically a loss for both. But still, it's, it's better than that the T-34 cap. So, that's what we decided to do. <coughs> so, so, my game was not so good. I'm gonna look a little quick look at his game stats of this match. So here are the game stats of his match. You can clearly see a different language, it doesn't matter. <coughs> it was for his on the draw. It was an ace for him and a high caliber medal. And a hell of a lot, good amount of damage done on this match. He's on the total just over 3000 damage and was still basic swings of 904 for him. Very nicely done. On oh, mine was like way lower. <laughs> but very very good play. He fired a total of 60 shots. All his shells fired. 46 hits and 25 penetrated. It's not a very good amount of penetration but damage wise very nicely done. And he even got, uh, I think this is blocked by armor, I think about three, 300 hit points, so, and by assist just over 1100. Very, very good game of him. Fortunately, we had to pull a draw out, of course, he was just run out of ammo. Alright, I will see you all next week again, we have more <coughs> World of Tanks replays. Still, again, this is the first replay that got sent in by him, because we played together, he sent him in. If you guys have replays, please send them in. If you have any good games or funny games, just send them in and I'll take a look at them. They probably land on my channel if they're good. So, see you all next week and just keep having fun and World of Tanks. See ya.